The University of Mines and Technology spent one year to develop and test the technology. A test was first conducted in the Prop Basin to find out how it would assist in cleaning the country's water bodies. Vice Chancellor of the school, Richard Kwesia Mankwa, who led the demonstration, assured government of the usefulness of the technology and explained how it would work. There are particles that can settle by themselves when they fall into water. And there are particles that need to be helped to settle. And the ones that we see in our waters are particles that need help to settle. So when we say they need help, some of these particles have got charges. So because of the charges, they remain in suspension. The chemicals we are going to use would neutralize the charges on the particles and force them to settle. So we have to estimate, for instance, the, num the volume of water in the Pra River. And we know that it's around 5 million cubic meters. So knowing how much you need for one cubic meter, you can estimate how much you will need for 5 million cubic meters. Is it for free? Um, certainly it cannot be for free. <laughs> he is also certain that the water would be safe for drinking after the purification exercise. The suspended solids, once they start maybe falling into the bottom of the river, naturally they will occupy space. But in terms of maybe causing the river to die as you put it no there's no way it can do that indeed the current situation can cause the river to have challenges than when we start solving it because if you clear it then sunlight can penetrate through the river the fishes can have more life the grass and everything inside the river can have more life this current situation is worse than what we are going to do Ours is much, much better. There will be no problem. Even if, if you take a sample of the water and you run a multi-element test on it, none of the elements you see in the water would have any adverse effect on human life or even uh, fish life or even grass life. Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, George Mekuduka, who is excited about this technology, observed that 300 river guards are being deployed to patrol the river bodies. In his view, the deployment is to realize the objectives of the technology. You know, Pra is now cleaned. There is no mining activity ongoing in the river Pra. And uh, I can tell you, uh, we're going to also institute the river guards who will also be protecting, continuously protecting our river bodies for sustainability. So it's not a matter of a nine-day wonder activity. We're going to have uh, boats provided, drones will be patrolling, uh, you know, uh, posts officers at vantage points, then they can also report accordingly to the appropriate authorities. We recruiting from along the villages, in, uh, you know, of the river value chain. So they, coming from the communities. From the communities, mm -hmm. we're not sending anybody from. I mean, where we don't have river, but they need to, to protect from where they live, so that they can practically be monitoring day in day out. So we getting them collaborating with the chiefs and opinion leaders to get them and people who will also be ready to work and protect this river bodies. So how many are we looking at? Are uh, we from looking specifically? We looking at uh, you know piloting the pra for now okay. and uh, take it from there. So we're looking at getting no less than uh, three hundred for a start.